Hello and welcome back to Koala Moon, children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. Adrenaline the Tortoise by Gillian Rogerson It was early morning in Sleepy Forest and the sun was just beginning to rise over the horizon. The woodland animals were still fast asleep, snug in their beds. Apart from one. Adrenaline the tortoise was already awake. He'd woken up early because he liked filling his day with activities. There was always something to do, and always something to see. He got out of bed and had a good stretch. He washed his face and brushed his teeth. He put on his running shoes. They had blue stripes down the side of them, and Adrenaline was certain the stripes made him go faster. He left his little house and walked as fast as a tortoise could down the lane. He heard the light chattering of birds nearby and knew they were getting ready to begin their dawn chorus. Adrenaline loved joining in with them. Adrenaline waved to a robin who was perched on a fence and quietly practising her latest tune. A group of wrens were sitting on the bough of a tree and fluffing up their feathers in readiness for the morning symphony to start. Adrenaline climbed onto a small rock and joined a goldfinch who was already sitting there. They gave each other cheery good mornings before getting ready to sing. A rooster with a plume of purple tail feathers stepped forward regally. He cleared his throat and brought the light chattering to a stop. He bowed his head in greeting and then nodded at the gathering of feathered singers and the tortoise. The singing began. The tune was light and carefree. It drifted over the forest and gently woke the animals who were stirring from their sleep. Adrenaline didn't know any of the words to the song, but he sang as loudly as he could and with as much enthusiasm as he could. He even had a little dance. Soon the song came to an end. The birds wished each other a joyful day before flying away in different directions. Adrenaline climbed off the rock and went on his way. He hastened through the forest, his little legs going as fast as they could. He called out good morning to everyone he saw. He soon came to a company of caterpillars who were searching the ground for fallen leaves. Adrenaline asked if they needed help. The biggest caterpillar said, Yes, please. We need as many leaves as we can. We're always hungry lately, and we need to eat all day long. The little tortoise began to gather leaves from beneath the trees. He took them back to the caterpillars, who began to munch on them immediately. They invited Adrenaline to stop for a while, and eat some leaves too. He politely said no. He could see how hungry the caterpillars were. He wanted to make sure they had plenty to eat. So whilst the caterpillars were enjoying their leafy feast, Adrenaline continued collecting more and more leaves. He brought the collection back to the caterpillars and put them in a neat pile. The caterpillars thanked the tortoise and said they had plenty to eat now. Adrenaline went on his way, looking for something else to do. The sun rose higher in the sky, and the gentle heat felt soothing on Adrenaline's shell. He continued walking through Sleepy Forest, going as fast as a tortoise could go. Adrenaline came to a flower meadow and saw some frogs leaping joyfully through the grass 
as they travelled from one side of the meadow to the other. They looked like they were having a wonderful time. Adrenaline gave them a cheery wave. The frogs invited him to join them. Adrenaline didn't hesitate. He moved closer to the frogs and watched how they bent their legs before jumping into the air. He did a few practice hops and then followed the frogs through the meadow. He jumped as high as a tortoise could jump. The frog said he was doing really well. They asked him to join them at the pond, where they were going to jump from lily pad to lily pad. Adrenaline wasn't sure about that, and admitted all the jumping had made him a little tired, and he wasn't sure he had any hops left in his legs. And besides, he still had plenty of things to do, and plenty of things to see. Adrenaline said goodbye to the frogs, and carried on walking. His steps a little slower now. The sun moved across the sky some more. Birds sang sweetly from the treetops. A fox with fur the colour of autumn leaves strolled leisurely through the grass. Deer nuzzled at hedgerows that were sprinkled with ripe red berries. Adrenaline noticed some bushy-tailed squirrels scampering up and down a sycamore tree. He waved cheerfully to them and asked what they were doing. Collecting nuts, they replied. We need as many as we can. Adrenaline offered to help them. He found a couple of chestnuts on the ground. He picked them up and attempted to scamper up the tree just like the squirrels had done. He wasn't successful and kept sliding back down. Maybe tortoises weren't built for climbing trees. Adrenaline still wanted to help the squirrels, so he took a moment to consider the matter. He came up with an idea. He collected a pile of hazelnuts and acorns and placed them at the bottom of the tree. He began to throw the nuts up to the waiting squirrels. It took a few throws for adrenaline to get the hang of it, but before long, he was throwing the nutty feast successfully up to the waiting paws of the squirrels. Even though he wanted to make sure the squirrels had as much food as they needed, the little tortoise began to get tired, and he couldn't throw the nuts as high. He was quite glad when the squirrels said they had enough food. They thanked Adrenaline for his help. The little tortoise walked on through the forest at a much slower pace. There were still things he wanted to see, and things he wanted to do. The sun continued slowly on its journey through the clear blue sky. Bumblebees flitted from flower to flower. A lavender-scented breeze flowed through sleepy forest. Adrenaline strolled along, looking for something to do. He spotted Hare resting at the side of the forest path. She was reclining on the soft grass with her hands behind her head. Adrenaline smiled. He had seen Hare many times running through the forest with a big smile on her face. Perhaps he could run with her. He wasn't sure he'd be able to go as fast as Hare but he would go as fast as a tortoise could. He walked over to Hare and was surprised to see her eyes were closed. Was she asleep at this time of day? How peculiar. Adrenaline was about to turn away, but Hare's eyes opened. She looked at the little tortoise 
and gave him a sleepy smile. Hello there, Adrenaline. How are you today? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. He frowned a little. Were you asleep, Hare? In the middle of the day? Hare nodded. <laughs> I was having a nap. I have one every day at about this time. Adrenaline said he had no idea what a nap was. Oh, it's a small, refreshing sleep, she explained. Lots of animals have them. Adrenaline said he'd never had a nap, and he didn't like the idea of falling asleep in the middle of the day. Hare gave him a gentle smile. He should try having one. It gives your body time to slow down and rest for a while. And it doesn't even need to be a long nap. Just long enough so that you feel rested afterwards and ready to get on with your day. I love having a nap. Adrenaline thought about her words. Maybe I'll try a nap another day. I've got too much to do today. He let out the smallest of yawns. Hare noticed his yawn and said he should get an early night. Adrenaline shook his head. Oh, I've got too much to do. You'll feel better after a good night's sleep. I always do. I have lots of energy when I wake up. You've seen how fast I run through the forest, and that's because I have a good sleep. Hare stopped talking and looked as if she were searching for the right words. Sleeping is like a superpower. A superpower? Adrenaline liked the sound of that. What do you mean? Hare patted the grass next to her and asked Adrenaline to sit down. The little tortoise settled himself next to Hare. He lifted his face and felt the soothing warmth of the sun on his cheeks. Relaxing forest sounds came from all directions. Adrenaline listened to the soothing symphony of nature. He'd never noticed there was such a variety of sounds in Sleepy Forest before. He wriggled his feet inside his shoes and thought how nice it was to take a rest for a while. Hare said to Adrenaline, Sleeping gives your body the time it needs to rest and grow stronger. I always feel amazing when I wake up. I'm ready for anything, and I'm sure I run faster too. I love going to bed early and getting as much sleep as I can. Why don't you try going to bed earlier tonight? Adrenaline was about to say he still had plenty of things to do that day, but he yawned instead. He just couldn't seem to stop himself. Hare continued talking gently to the tired tortoise. The other animals in the forest always go to bed early. And lots of them have naps, too. Perhaps you should talk to them about it. Hare stood up and stretched her arms high above her head. I'm going for a run now. Would you like to join me? Adrenaline normally would have said yes. But his legs were feeling a little weary. So he politely said no and waved to Hare as she jogged away. Adrenaline thought about Hare's words. Was sleep 
really a superpower? He wanted to know what his forest friends thought about that. He lingered in the warm sun for a while longer, enjoying the feeling of having nothing to do. After a while, he stood up, wiped some grass off his running shoes, and set off walking again. He went as fast as a tortoise could go, a tortoise who was feeling somewhat tired. Adrenaline decided to revisit the squirrels and talk to them about what Hare had told him. When he reached the squirrels' home, he saw they were nestled cosily in the bough of the tree. Some of them were nibbling on small chunks of chestnuts. Adrenaline called up to them and asked if he could have a chat. Of course, the oldest squirrel said. I'll be down in a second. The squirrel scooted down the tree and arrived at Adrenaline's side. Adrenaline told him about his conversation with Hare and asked if the squirrels ever had naps. We certainly do. Every day. In fact, I've just had one, and I feel marvellous. I love having naps almost as much as I love going to sleep at night. I've got a cosy bed in this tree. It's made out of soft leaves. Adrenaline asked, Do you think sleeping is a superpower? Hare thinks it is. The squirrel smiled and said that was an excellent word to use. And yes, sleep must be a superpower because he felt fantastic when he woke up after a good night's sleep. The squirrel looked at the tree, a thoughtful expression on his face. When I was little, I couldn't climb this tree. I kept sliding back down. My mum would always tell me to have a good sleep and try again the following day. When I woke up the next day, I was a little better at climbing. Until one day, I climbed all the way to the top. So, yes, I think sleeping must be a superpower. Adrenaline's little eyes grew wide in wonder. If I had lots of early nights, do you think I'd be able to climb your tree? You might, the squirrel smiled at him. Imagine that, climbing our tree all the way to the top. Adrenaline was already imagining that very thing, and a smile spread across his face. He thanked the squirrel for talking to him and went on his way. Adrenaline walked on until he came to a stream where his frog friends were hopping from lily pad to lily pad. He waved to them and asked if they had time for a chat. The youngest frog jumped over to him. Adrenaline told her what Hare had said about sleep being a superpower. The frog nodded her green head enthusiastically. I know it is, she pointed to the lily pads. Last week, I couldn't jump between those lily pads. But now I can and it must be because I've had lots of sleep, Adrenaline said. He was very impressed. The frog lifted one leg and waggled it in the air, 
Look, I've grown bigger since last week. Look how long my legs are. She waggled it again. And next week, my legs will be even longer and stronger. Adrenaline asked if the frog ever had a nap during the day. Oh yes, every day. I've got a snuggly spot by the water. I love having a nap. But I like my sleep even more. Will you come back next week and see how much I've grown again? Adrenaline promised to do so. The frog tilted her head and looked more closely at the tortoise. She said, If you get lots of sleep and lots of naps, you can use your superpower to leap across the lily pads like me. Imagine that, Adrenaline said with a smile. A leaping tortoise. He said goodbye to the young frog and went on his way. It wasn't long before he came to the tree where the caterpillars were resting. They were lounging sleepily on the branches, contented smiles on their faces. Adrenaline noticed they weren't eating and asked if they'd run out of leaves. One of the caterpillars yawned and said, We've eaten all we need to. It's time for our big sleep soon. Adrenaline wasn't sure what the caterpillar meant by that, and asked her to explain. The caterpillar yawned again, before saying, In a caterpillar's life, there's a time to eat, and there's a time to sleep. And it's nearly time for our big sleep. It's when we turn into butterflies. Are you sure you don't want any more leaves? I can get some for you. No, thank you. All I want to do now is close my eyes and fall into a deep, deep sleep. Good night, my kind friend. I'll see you again when I wake up. The caterpillar closed her eyes and pulled her cosy cocoon around herself. Seeing her look so restful and happy made Adrenaline want to be in his bed with his cosy cover around him. He yawned and blinked tiredly. He started to head home. Thoughts of his snuggly, cosy bed filled his mind, causing him to yawn some more. On the way home, he went by the area where the birds had started their dawn chorus that day. The rooster, with a plume of purple tail feathers, was resting beneath an oak tree, a relaxed smile on his face. A sleepy tiredness came over adrenaline, and he asked the rooster if he could sit with him for a while. Of course, my friend. The rooster's voice was deep and soothing. Tell me about your day. You always seem to be off somewhere. Adrenaline told the rooster what he'd been doing. He finished by telling him about hair and the conversations he'd had with the squirrel, the frog and the caterpillar. The rooster nodded, 
a wise look on his face. It's true. Sleeping is very good for you. And there's something else too. Something magical happens when you're asleep. Your mind is free to imagine whatever it wants. Adrenaline wasn't sure what that meant and asked the rooster to explain. The rooster gazed dreamily into the distance and said, When I fall asleep, I often get ideas for new songs. The words come to me in dreams. When I wake up, I remember the songs and I write them down in a notebook. The other birds do that too. It's amazing what happens in your dreams. It's like being transported into another world, a magical world, where anything is possible. Adrenaline loved the thought of being transported into a magical world. He said, Do you think I will get ideas in my dreams too? Of course, the rooster smiled at the little tortoise. I had a nap earlier and came up with a new song whilst I was asleep. Would you like to hear it? Adrenaline nodded in his deep and soothing voice. The rooster began to sing. His beautiful melody filled the air and wrapped itself around adrenaline like a comforting hug. The tortoise felt all warm inside, and he felt tired too. He began to yawn again. His eyes started to feel heavier and heavier. The sun dipped towards the horizon, and the sky turned a darker, shade of blue. When the rooster had finished his lovely lullaby, Adrenaline said, I'd better be getting home. I'm so very tired, and I'm ready for my bed. Thank you for singing to me. I loved your song. Good night. Good night, little one. Sweet dreams. The rooster started up his song again, and the soothing melody drifted on the air and kept adrenaline company on his short walk home. The tired tortoise soon arrived home. He took off his shoes and put them away. He brushed his teeth, washed his face, and got into his pyjamas. He snuggled down in his comfy, cosy bed and pulled the cover up to his chin. He sighed happily. He imagined his friends in Sleepy Forest, settling down to sleep too. He smiled sleepily as he thought about his body growing stronger in the night and the magical dreams that were waiting for him. He let out a long, long yawn. Adrenaline, the tired tortoise, fell into a deep, deep sleep. We are drifting towards dreams now, the happiest 
loveliest dreams you've ever dreamt. We're calm and cozy. Your breathing is relaxed and you can feel that lovely weight of the blanket keeping you safe and warm. Aren't you comfy? You are so warm and cozy. So sleepy. As you drift into dreams, count all the things you're grateful for. Let yourself fill up with all of the little moments that made you smile today. See the faces of the people that made you laugh. Think of the things that challenged you. Think of the things you learned and the practice that meant you'll be a little bit better tomorrow than you were today. Think about how warm and cozy and sleepy you are here in your bed. What a day you had. Wonderful things lie ahead for you too. You will have wonderful adventures tomorrow and the next day and the one after that. The whole world is waiting for you. But there's no rush. There's nothing more to do today. All that's left for today is rest. Deep, cozy sleep. The most beautiful of dreams are waiting for you now. That's why you're drifting off gently into dreamland. So keep breathing slowly. Let yourself get toasty warm. Let your eyelids stay heavy and know that you are safe. Remember that you are smart, you are brave, you are kind and you are loved. Think it to yourself. I am smart. I am brave. I am kind. I am loved. You are a dream. When tomorrow comes, you'll face it with a smile. Because you are smart, brave, kind and loved. Because you are you. Uniquely, wonderfully you. What kind of dream are you drifting towards tonight? You can dream however you want because your imagination is as wide as the universe. What will you find in tonight's dream? Maybe you'll see your favorite characters. Is that Hector and Sunny over there? Maybe you'll visit the moon where there's mice eating cheese in the craters. Maybe you'll walk through Sleepy Forest where Coco the koala is strumming his pink ukulele on the banks of Sleepy River. Let your imagination take you away. Your dreams are all yours, and you deserve the sweetest dreams of all. Because you are brave. You are kind. And you are loved, you are brave, you are kind, and you are loved, and you are wonderfully, uniquely you. You are a dream, and it's time to sleep, tucked up in your bed. Breathe slowly and melt into your bed. Isn't it warm and soft and cozy? It's time to rest. Take deep breaths in and out and let yourself relax as you say goodbye to the day. 
Let your body get even heavier. Let your whole body go floppy. Drift deeper into sleep with every breath and say good night. Remember, tomorrow will be a good day because you have a big heart. You are a good friend. You believe in yourself. You know there's nothing better to be than yourself. It's okay to get things wrong. It's okay to ask for help. You can do whatever you set your mind to. Be proud to be different. Be proud of your achievements. Be proud of yourself. You are a good learner. You are a good listener. You are a good example to others. You are valued. You are loved. You are sleepy. So drift off now, little one. Let the dreams take over. As you sleep, let your dreams take you to magical lands and faraway places. Remember, there's no room for worries in your dreams, just magic. It's a magic place where anything can happen, anything you want. It's a place of positivity and light. Let positivity soak into you and fill you up. Imagine it as a golden light traveling from the tips of your toes to the top of your head. Imagine that wherever the light touches you fills with happiness. Imagine that the light makes you feel calm. You're wrapped in a warm, cozy glow within your soft, toasty blanket. Isn't that nice? You are safe, tucked up tight. So sleep soundly all through the night. Sweet dreams, little one. I'll see you soon.